Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise from D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to share with you how I fill in the nooks and crannies of my shoeboxes. So I am done packing for the year and what I do after I'm done packing is I go back and I check all of my boxes and I actually check the soap that I've packed to make sure that nothing's happened to the soap and I fill in some empty space. I like to fill very full boxes. I'm sure you can tell from my videos. And I know not everybody has time to do this. I, I get that, I understand that. But if you do have time for it, I'm gonna to try to give you some ideas today of what you can put in those little spaces. So let's get started. The first box is, I'm gonna show you, is for a boy, 10 to 14. So if I open this one up, I can see that it is pretty full. And I think I packed this in February or March. But I can see already that the items have settled and there is space for some additional items. And I call that extra space a nook and a cranny. So there's lots of things that you could put in there. For example, this is a, a foldable Frisbee. And these fit in any small space because they're very small and very flat. So there, he's got a little bit of added fun. You can always add another eraser. They're always welcome. And I'm going to add two more little animals. I have a lion and I have a snake. And I'm going to sneak those in there and close my box. And it's lifting a little bit, but for the most part, it is just as good as when I opened it up. So I've added a little bit more fun that really didn't take up much space into that nook and cranny. So let's take a look at my next one. This is for a girl and I have a note on here that it needs a label. Uh, this is for a girl two to four. This was a mini box that I did. And if I pull away the top portion, there is actually a little tiny bit of space in there. So I think what I'm going to add is this cute little, I might as well take the packaging off to save on that. This cute little eraser, and it has a little fur on the back to rub off the shavings. I'm gonna tuck that right there next to Minnie, and then close my box back up. And this one did have a rubber band on it. And I've added one more little extra item to my shoe box. So I'm going to insert a video here to show you how I store some of the items that I pack. Okay, this is actually in my dining room and the storage unit on the right is everything for Pencil Granny and Friends filler pencil packs. And the little storage unit on the left is for um, tiny fillers for nooks and crannies. So let's take a look what's inside and these will go downstairs at Thanksgiving time. Okay, so in the top drawer, it's mostly items for boys. So for example, these are some Lego people that I usually get from the Dollar Tree. They, they fit really good in nooks and crannies. There's a few of these little um, shape rubber bands. This is just like a little dinosaur. These are some Marvel people, Marvel characters. Let's see what else do I have. More Legos. This is like a mini mini train. And there's another mini train. This is like a little dinosaur. So mostly things for boys in this drawer. Okay, in the second drawer, I have mostly things for girls. So there's a few of these fidget spinners. They're not spinners, but like little fidget thing toys. I got these from Michael's. There's a little mermaid that was from the Dollar Tree. A little hacky sack ball. A little cutie car here. Those look like little Shopkins. A little Barbie 
puppy. That's a puppy. And some little dolls. And there's a whole bag of Disney characters in here, but that's not just for boys. For girls, it's also for boys. Now those are from the Dollar Tree, but they can be tucked in nooks and crannies also. It's just a little, um, I forget her name, little doctor. This is mostly for a girl. And then the drawer on the bottom, again, is for mostly a boy. We have some micro machines, some jumping frogs in their pads, some more of these little fidgets. It's like a dragon. Some more Legos. A little dinosaur. This is a Playmobil character blind bag that I would remove from the bag. This is a screwdriver pen. Okay, now let me show you some of the items to give you an idea of what you could fit in a shoebox after you've already packed it. So these are really cute little spiky animals. I've got these, gotten these from RaymondGettys.com. And they are very small and they would fit easily in a little nook or cranny or a corner of a box. These are little miniature blow up uh, beach balls. I got these from Oriental Trading. They are very flat. So this certainly could fit easily in a box as well. I have some of these little animals and I collect these, get these from mostly from Michaels and some thrift stores. And those can be slipped in very easily as well. You can always put in more uh, pencil sharpeners. These are the pencil sharpeners from Oriental Trading. Boxes cannot have enough pencil sharpeners. So that could always fit in a little open space. And you can always put in more erasers. Erasers are always needed and welcome. And that would certainly fit in a little open space. I made these little necklaces. These are little crosses that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I've added some cording to them. These could be added very easily too. They would hardly take up any space. And you can also just add pencil caps. Pencil caps are always needed and they don't take up much space either. These are the box of those fun little erasers that I added to the mini box. I've added some of these to a few boxes. Those are from Raymond Gettys. Those are fun. They don't take up too much space. I found these little small playing cards that are allowed in the USA. These are from Oriental Trading and they don't take up any space either. I just, you just try to think small. What could fit in that's very small? This is a bag of the Frisbees. I get these on Amazon. And again, they're, they're very flat and they hardly take up any space and they're loads of fun for the kids. What else do I have? Um, these are called hacky sacks and they're very smushable. I got these from, I think it's called H&J Li Liquidators. And these are great to add because they, again, you can smush them very flat and they provide loads of fun also. There's some cute little animals. I got these also from Raymond Gettys. That seems to be my go-to for some of these little things. But these are just like little, it's a cow, a hippopotamus. So they fit in very easily in a little spot of a box. I recently ordered these whistles from Amazon. Got a great deal on these. I'm actually going to use these in my pencil packs for my pencil pack filler for Pencil Granny and Friends for the Processing Center, but these can also be added in a nook and cranny of a shoebox when you're looking to fill those little spots up. So what else do I have to show you? 
Oh, you could always add a fun eraser. That doesn't take up very much space. And that would fit in one of those little spots of your boxes. These little rings, these little um, rubber bands that are in shapes, they don't take up very much space. I found these emergency ponchos at Walmart for 25 cents. They're pretty flat and they could probably fit right on top of a box. I have loads of little animals that I could add to a box that has just a little bit of extra space. And I've actually just collected these over the years. So that's fun. And, oh, mending kits. These are great. These hardly take up any space at all. And even if you've already added one, they can always use an extra. I like to add the um, threaders to mine and an extra needle. I get these on Amazon and again, they take up hardly any space at all. Those are the cards. These are some little robots. They bend easily, so they'll go into a little spot pretty easily. You can bend their arms and legs. And these are from Raymond Geddes also. And I recently got these from Walmart on clearance this summer. These are, they're called dots, Lego dots. They're like bracelets. And these are nice and flat and thin and you could slide them in the back of a box or the front of a box very easily if you needed a little extra. I got a lot of these stringy majiggies from Walmart for 25 cents. And you could easily take off the instructions, slide it in the back of your box, and put the stringy majiggy in one of those nooks and crannies. I showed you this in my recent unboxing. Safety pins are great for boys and girls. And just by taking some safety pins and attaching it to a piece of ribbon, you could just slide it in a box very easily and it would hardly take up any space and you're adding value to your box. Also, if you haven't already included fingernail clippers or nail files to your boxes, you could just, you could just put, put them in there or put them in a little organza bag like I did and plop them in your box. They take up hardly any space. You could also use this as an idea to add, um, to, to pack up some filler items for the processing center. This would be a great filler item. There's some fun glasses I got on Valentine's Day. They're very flat and they would slide in a box easily if I wanted to add something. And I think I'm getting near the end. I have a collection of some of these little dolls, similar to the mini uh, Minnie, Mickey, and Disney characters. These little things could also be tucked in a nook and cranny. And I think, I think that's it. But I hope that gives you an idea. If you are looking to fill the nooks and crannies of your shoe boxes, and you just think you could maybe add one more thing, this might give you some idea of the types of things you might be able to add. I'm sure you can think of a lot of other things, but I hope that this gave you an idea or two of um, some, you know, some of the things that you could consider adding. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next unboxing. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.